Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artsuka. <laughs> Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I made this little kitty for my sister, but it's a surprise. I don't want her to find it yet. I really need a secret hiding place for it. So, I'm going to hide it in a piece of art. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is perfect. This is a box I found with a lid. Hmm? Now I'm gonna make this look like a house. I'll just add windows and a door. So first I'll start off with my pencil. Draw a little window here. I'm drawing right on top of this box. You can use any box with a lid for this. And I'll add a couple more. One right there. And one right down here. I'll just add a door. And now I'm ready for color. And so for color, I'm gonna use markers and paint. So I'll start off with a window. Then I'll use my markers. I'll outline it black. I'll also use some blue. I'll just give it a couple more colors so it has some really nice detail. Great. Now, to finish off my window, I'll give it some curtains. I want to give her house a little bit of privacy. Wouldn't want anybody peeking in there and finding my cat. Great, I've got color on my window, and now I can color the house. So for that, I'm going to use some paint. So with my paintbrush, I'll just use some orange paint. A nice orange house would be great. This is a really cool orange, I like it. Once I've covered the whole house in color, I can set it off to dry. Here's one I made earlier, and it's nice and dry. Now check this out. My little kitty fits perfectly inside this house. Now my sister will never find it. That was perfect for my little sister's kitty. But my cats keep on chewing my paintbrushes all the time. So I need to find a place to hide these too. That little house is too small. I need something bigger. So look what I did. I took a tissue box and cut a hole in the back. Then painted it the same way as I did with my house. And my brush fits in it perfectly. Look at this. I painted in a little kitty in this window up here. And next door to the kitty, there's a bird. Uh-oh, hope that kitty's not hungry. It was just a tissue box, and now it's a work of art. A work of art that can hide things. Now, to really hide these, I've made a whole street scene. And check this out. Now, for the apartment building. I left a space. And that apartment building fits in there just right. Now I just need to tape it into place. I need to make sure I can open and close my apartment building so I can hide the paintbrush. So I'll take a piece of tape and place it on the inside of the box just like this. Then line it up with the edge of my street scene. Once it's lined up, I push the tape in. And the apartment building is part of the street scene. I need to figure out a way to lock this down, or else people can just look inside and see what I've hidden. To do that, I'm gonna make a lock, and I'll show you how. The first thing I need is a little piece of pipe cleaner, and I just bent it into this shape right here. We're gonna put this pipe cleaner right down onto the board. With some tape, I'll tape it into place. I've made two of them, and I want to put them side by side. Now 
Now that those are in place, I can just put my building right over top. With a pencil, I want to line up exactly where those two loops are. And I just make a mark right there. Then I take my pencil and poke a hole right into the apartment building. And I just want to keep it really close to the edge. I'm going to finish my lock with this flagpole. The flagpole is just a disguise. Watch this. When I slide it under the building, it goes underneath the loops, and that will lock it into place. Let's try it. Stick it through the hole and slide it under the loops. Perfect. Now my apartment is locked into place, and there's no way my cats will get in there. Remember this one? I hid the cat in here. It's easy to put this house into my street scene. I just take a piece of tape, place it on the back like that, and then slide it into place. Perfect. No one will suspect when you hide things in a piece of art. Got something you would like to hide in a piece of art? I recycled a juice box to make my first hiding place and painted it to look like a house. A tissue box works great for hiding bigger things. I painted this one to look like an apartment building. A city street makes my hiding place even more secret. Attach the tissue box by taping it with some duct tape. The smaller box can be taped on too. I made a lock for the bigger box by taping down some folded pipe cleaners big enough for a thin stick to slide through. Then I marked the spot and poked a hole through the side of the tissue box. The decorated stick locks the box in place and no one can tell that it opens. And don't worry if you missed any of this, it's all on our website at artzooka.com. Art? Fun. And what's really fun is experimenting with the way you take them. Check this out. I'm going to take a photo of Cosmos here. He looks okay, but we can see a lot of the wall in this picture. What happens if I move the camera closer to Cosmos? So that he takes up more space in the picture. Hmm. I think that looks way better. Now he really stands out. Here's another tip. Huh. I want to take a picture of Artie here, but this isn't working very well. He's so dark, I can hardly see him. I think there's too much light coming from the window. Hmm. I can't see him very well because the light is shining in my eyes. And if the light is in my eyes, then the camera can't see either. Well, what if I move so he isn't in front of the light? Huh. Now there's more light shining on him from behind me, and the light's not in my eyes. It's not in the camera's eye either. That's better. Here's another tip. You know, it's cool to take photos like this. And that works really well, but it's also really fun to experiment a little. How about I take a picture of my favorite lamp ray and I move all around in this space? Hmm. How about from here? From way down low. How about 
from here, from up above, or here, from the front, or even right here, from the side. He looks totally different from all these different angles. They are all ray, but they all look different. Check out this angle. It's all in how you look at it. These tips can make taking photos a lot more interesting. When you take a picture of someone, you may want to try putting them in the middle of the picture so they take up most of the space. Make sure there isn't too much light shining from behind the person or the thing you're trying to photograph. If the light is shining in your eyes, it's shining in the camera as well. That's better. I like to move around when I take my photos and take them from a lot of different angles. When you're taking photos, it's really fun to experiment. We've got lots more great ideas like this at artzooka.com. Artzooka! from stuff in a dentist office. Thanks, Liam, that's a good one. Let's see what I can Artsuka. Toothbrushes, paper towel. I've got an idea. It's a picture of the ocean. It's all in how you look at it. Art? Azuka! Want to learn how to see like a spy? Spies are trained to look at things really closely and carefully. When you're drawing, it helps to take a really good look at what you're going to draw. Look at the shapes and the lines and the colors and the edges. Let's try this while we draw art. 
What if I only look at Artie and don't look at the paper while I'm drawing? I'll put Artie right here so I can get a really good look at him. I'm going to trace him with my finger first, just to get a feel for what he looks like. Mm hmm. I think I'm ready to draw. I'll put my piece of paper over here. I'm not going to take my eyes off Artie when I'm drawing him. And I'm going to block my view so I won't be tempted to look at the paper while I'm drawing. That should work. Artists use this trick to help them draw. All right, I'm going to start right here. And when it goes up, it kind of curves. Goes all the way up to his tip top of his head. And then it comes straight down like that. And then well, it comes back over and connects. Now I'll add in. So uh, let's do his face. His face is probably right around here. Again, still not looking at my paper. I'll make his eye. Big googly arty eye. And then his pupil. And now for his mouth. I love Artie's little grin. Oh, it's a terrible impression. And it's terrible because I have all my teeth. And there's that little tooth. Hmm. He has this little vest on. Let's start where his vest starts. That goes all the way across like that. And then he has one little suspender. And then he has another little suspender right here. And of course, Artie has feet. Oh, <laughs> I almost looked at my paper. It's habit, bad habit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost did it again. I got a lot. This time I'm looking at Artie, I promise. There we go, okay. All right, so I'll start with his leg. There's one leg there. I'll make one circle, because he has two circles on his legs, so there's two. And then his other leg, right there. And he has two circles. I won't bother calling those circles in, but I will get this little edge on the bottom of his foot. I'm going to draw the circle because I can see it from here. Well, that goes there like that. And like that. And just to finish it all off, I'll put buttons on his shirt. Remember, it doesn't matter what your drawing looks like. This is all about taking a close look at what you're drawing. I'm excited to look at it. Oh, wow, look at that. Now that is Artzuka. And this is what happens when I see Artie in a whole new way. It's fun to draw without looking at the page. Artists do this because it helps us pay close attention to whatever we're drawing. I'd love to see your spy drawings. Take a picture and email me at the Artsuka website, artsuka.com. Artsuka! And now time for an Artsuka safety message. Remember, when making masks, don't forget to add holes for your eyes. And our Zuka challenge! For my Art Zuka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of an egg slicer and a yogurt container. I put them in a movie starring Paper Bag. Come on and see what I made. I also put something else in my movie, a shoe insole. See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back 
and enjoy Cinema Artsuka. Here's the yogurt container, and here's another one. And here's the egg slicer. It's a golf cart. Now let's watch it in a movie. Did you like the movie? I made a golf car out of an egg slicer and a yogurt container. Hey, did you spot the insole? Take another look at where I put it. Here's a challenge for you. See if you can make something out of an egg slicer or something that kind of looks like one and a yogurt container. Be really creative. Anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artzuka website. Artzuka.com Follow you, Artzuka, today.